Good morning, Geek Week 7. It's Friday. And today you're joining me from my bed. Because it looked comfy. And I'm lazy. I do have some fanfiction for you, though. It's more Temple Run fanfiction. I thought about changing it up a little and coming back to the Temple Run fanfiction later and just doing like a one-shot or something this week. But then I sat down to write and I couldn't think of any ideas. So... I'll work on switching it up maybe some other time, but for now you get more Temple Run. Sorry. As the footsteps became clearer, Scarlet added, You should go, before they get here. Not quite grasping things yet, I responded. Go where? Running, she said with a shrug. Focus on coins. If you get 10,000, they'll unfreeze me entirely. She gestured to the door and I obediently walked towards it. Good luck, she called. Using that as a signal, I spun around and asked, what if I don't... What if I just leave? Scarlet's head burst out laughing. Leave? <laughs> you think no one's tried that? It's impossible. However we got in here isn't a conceivable option anymore. The path is a never-ending loop. So why should I run? It's totally your choice. Don't if you don't want to, but you'll just end up frozen. If you try, maybe some miracle ray of light will appear. A loud shriek singled that the monsters were just outside the corridor. <sighs> 10,000, right? Yeah. Then we can team up. All right, why not? Immediately thereafter, I took off running. The sun beat down on my back as I made turn after turn, jump after jump, making sure to get as many coins as possible. After some time, I tripped, fell, and found myself again in the Hall of Failures. Solid effort, Scarlet said. Without responding, I took off once again. It went on like this for ages. Running, dying, Hall of Failures. Repeat. Until finally, after running into a tree, I hid 10,032 coins. The last of the ice melted from Scarlet's pedestal, and miraculously, she was completely dry, perfectly healthy, and fit for running. Brilliant! Man, it feels good to move again. Thanks! Don't mention it. But, uh, now what? The only thing we can do is run, she said matter-of-factly. But to what end? She thought for a minute on this one. My hunch is, since the monsters love games, there must be a way to win. Maybe we just have to save everyone. That could take ages, I said looking down at the hall at the remaining pedestals. Yeah, but remember, once we save some of them, they can help. I shrugged at this and Scarlet continued. Here, you rest and I'll take a stab at it for a while. And off she went. I watched until she was out of my line of sight, until she would inevitably join me once more. It now occurs to me that I'm laying in my bed with the covers pulled over my head reading fan fiction to the internet. So... On that note, goodbye.